Hello everybody and welcome to this ball review for the Blood Soccer Ball here on the Golf Clash Tom YouTube channel. Here I'm going to go through the ball, talk you through it and also give you my thoughts on where to best use this lovely looking ball. But before we start, make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can get the ultimate tournament guides or the exclusive tour text guides, the best guides on the market on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy, link is directly in the description down below. So the blood, blood soccer ball, can you spot the scare in the night, it's the new blood soccer ball, screeching through the midnight skies with incredibly dexterity and packing a punch as well, uh, could it be Dracula himself? This is a power five side spin five wind resistance is zero. This is one of its kind. We have never got uh, this type of ball before in the game. And what I would say when it comes to looking at this ball is that this is an absolute must ball in for you as a tournament player. For you as a tour player, you can easily just say, no, thank you. I don't want it because it's not gonna be any value for me. But again, a tournament player, those of you that are especially playing an expert and master, and I would say this is an absolute must ball to get. I'm going to buy, yeah, most likely all the package on all my four master accounts. And the reason for that is that it's not just that it has power five, side spin five and wind resistance zero. It's also that it has plus three overpower and needle stability. It's also that the ball is round so you can center the ball properly if that's going to be needed. Which means that in a world of send it, like when we are sending it to green on par fours or par fives, this is a 10 out of 10. However though, I'm not ranking the balls in just one type of way of playing. I'm ranking the ball as a general ball of playing. So that's the reason why this ball is having a 7 out of 10, not a 10 out of 10. Because this ball is not going to be a par 3 ball. This ball is not going to be a ball to use on par 4s or par 5s in headwind or in somewhat crosswind. But in all types of tailwind on par 4s and par 5s, this ball will come to use in my opinion. So I put it at 7 out of 10, but again, if when it comes to ranking it just for send it purposes, this is a 10 out of 10 without uh, any type of uh, questions in my opinion. Tour play, 1 out of 10, I mean, you know, you can use it if you get ascended win on a, on tour play, but that's the majority of the, the games go to shootout, you know, there is no point having this ball in shootout, you're gonna lose, most likely. Because the wind is going to be so high and you're going to have power 5 as well together with that. So it's going to be just crap. Let's take a look at the needle speed in action. Also the ball centering as well to see how it looks. You can see that needle speed is definitely an easy one to uh, handle. Which is brilliant. And then you can see when centering the ball it is round. It has to go a good size which is also very important. So again 7, seven out of 10. Uh, in tournament, 1 out of 10 in tour play. I would love to hear your thoughts about this ball, the Bloodsucker Ball, which in my opinion, once again, is mainly for those of you that are playing tournaments. Thank you so much for watching this uh, ball review video and I wish you the best of luck in your Gold Clash game.